Welcome to this video on finding the source of ransomware. My name is Darren Delaney from Netfort. Just firstly, how do you know if you've got ransomware? Well, typically, you, maybe if you have an IDS, you could see some events which are reporting instances of ransomware. Could be you might see something in a log file. Users might complain they cannot access files. This is probably the most common way ransomware is detected. Somebody reports they can't access some data on the network, a spreadsheet, a database, maybe some documents, just can't open them anymore. Or in some cases, the, the user with the, that brought the virus into your network or the ransomware in reports some strange messages on their desktop. Those messages may look something like this, informing them their files are encrypted. And the only way to get them back then is to pay the money. Now, if users have come clean and show you these messages, then you've tracked down the source. But what if you've got something on your network that's encrypting your files and you just don't know what the source is? Well, let me show you how you can quickly do this with a product called LangGuardian. I'm now logged on to my LangGuardian. And I want to track down, we've had some reports from users that some financial information is is not accessible anymore. So let's do some forensics. We go to search and in the file activity option here we put in, in my case the name of the folder, finance. Now I could select a particular time period here like a, I could go back a week or whenever the first reports of this came in but folds only after ringing so I'm going to look at the last hour. So what am I looking out for here? Well, I see the users accessing files, which look all fairly normal, clients. But I'm starting to see unusual activity here. So I've got a budget forecast document and it's been renamed to some strange temporary file dot 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 x. And it seems to have happened in a few instances. What's also Significant is that all of these are coming from a single machine here, Win7 Trevor. Now with Active Directory integration, I can actually find what username this is. I just click this button here, view the report with usernames, and I can get the what users logged on. But I've got enough here to go on, because I know this is a contractor that's just come into the network. They've obviously have malware on their system, ransomware, and it's starting to encrypt files on, our, on the uh, file server. Next thing I want to do is I want to figure out exactly when this happened because I may be able to go back to tape and get these files. So it does confirm a rename here, so some strange activity. And I've got the exact time and date here. So I know I need to restore just prior to this date. Before I do any of that, I'm going to go get this machine and I'm going to get it taken off the network. I so said I can cut the username as well and contain the issue before it starts to encrypt even more data. If you've got something to go on, like the maybe if you do some research, you've got the name of temporary files or something. Again, you can go to the file activity search. Um, that one seemed to have L, lots of A's. Seems to be uh, the name of the temporary files. So I just typed it in wrong there. And there we go. And again, we can see this particular client. And we can see the, the, the renaming going on here. It looks like it puts it into some sort of an encrypted zip file. All of this information is gathered through deep packet inspection. So all you to set this up on your network, you just need to download the software, connect it, uh, install it and connect up to a span from a report. You can also deploy it as a virtual machine. You don't need to install agents on any of the clients. You don't need to enable auditing on your file servers. All of this information is gathered directly from network traffic. So it's a really quick and easy way and it's it's not in line so you're not going to have something else trying to slow down your network. So that's, I just want to talk very briefly about, well, okay, this this has happened so we've, we, and we got to go and we, some tasks to get our data back, but how, how could this happen? How did this get into the network? The most common way ransom comes in, ransomware gets into a network is when users receive a strange email, they click on some links. Now when I say strange, it may not appear strange to the user. Some of these emails are very well designed. 
just for example is one here um, it looks like it comes from a the county courthouse it looks like from a lawyer or in, in fact clerk of the court it's got a link to view the, the court notice it looks very official but as soon as the user clicks on that they run the risk of having malware or ransomware installed on their system even worse is this one here which looks like it comes from some sort of a funeral home and crematorium service Again, there's a link, it just, you know, entices the person to click it, and as soon as you do, you know, you're in trouble. An even worse one is where somebody was using the Ebola crisis to, in a way, frighten people. Instead of a link, what they've done here is they've actually put some attachments in, but as soon as you start clicking on these, double-clicking, opening these files, you're going to have some malware, possible ransomware installed on your system. Final one here, of course, one that makes us all sit up if we get something from Taxman, in this case the Inland Revenue Services. It's got a link there. The link looks a bit odd when you hover over it. But if you do click on that, then, then you're in trouble. So these are not the old-fashioned emails like from a print somewhere offering you millions and millions of pounds. They look very legitimate. Um, they can frighten people. As soon as you click on a link though, you're in trouble. So the ransomware can get into your network quite easily. The, the, the methods they're using are quite sophisticated. So you really do need to have tools available that if something gets in, you can quickly track down the source and get it off the network. If you need to find out more information about ransomware, about how to get a monitoring tool set up, if you go to our website, netfort.com, um, check out the forum. There's lots of really interesting technical guides in there, more information about ransomware and the history of it. And if you need to try something out, there is a link there to a product called Langardian. Download it and try it out yourself.